All right, dudes, I've always been intrigued by the Ankh, you know, the ancient Egyptian symbol. I knew it must have some kind of sacred geometry behind it, so I set out to find exactly how to make the perfect Ankh. And here's what I came up with. It starts with the seed of life, pretty much all ancient symbols do. Then we use these points on the left and right to find our horizontal line. I'm going to need an extra big ruler for this because it extends pretty far out either side of the paper in my case. Then I'm going to use these two points to find our vertical line. With the compass still set to the same size as the first seven circles, I'm going to add a few more circles which we'll need later on. Two on the left, one on the top, and two on the right. put my compass point on the bottom intersection and set it to reach the center of the seed and draw a circle and this will create a circle that's double the size of our original circle and then I'll double it up again by putting the compass in the center and reaching it out until the lowest intersection Now I'm going to connect these two points on the left and right petals of the seed of life on the top and the bottom. That's going to tell us where the edge of the petal in the middle is. And we can join those two points to create an intersection on the horizontal line. All right, now the compass point goes on the outermost intersection of the large circle at 90 degrees. And I'm gonna line it up to the intersection we just created. So it's not in the center, it's right next to it. And I'm gonna scribe an arc within the main circle. And then I'll keep going out to the left, put a mark on the horizontal line. And I'll do the same thing on the right. Then I'll repeat the same thing on the bottom and the top. But there's no need to put the extra mark above or below. Now I'm going to use that little mark to set my compass twice as big as this circle we just drew and I'm going to do the same thing draw an arc within the main circle then put another little mark all the way out there off the edge of the paper now I'm going to double the size of the circle again I'm going to need my dodgy beam compass extension for this bit. And then I'm going to draw two more arcs within the main circle, just in the bottom half. hard to tell right now but that's the bottom part of the cross done so now we move on to the loop on the top I'm going to connect these two intersections at the top to find the center of this section then with my compass set right in the center of that line we just drew I'm going to draw a small circle that reaches to the edge of the petals either side now I'm going to find the intersections where this circle and this circle cross and I'm going to join the two points 
extending the line to the edge of the seed. And I'll use this cross section to draw another circle that reaches to the top of the seed of life. Now I'm going to make a vesica piscis or a mandola around that circle by following the center line to the right and setting my compass from the edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle and I'll draw a circle that's twice the size either side. Now I need to draw a smaller circle inside of this one so I'll put my compass right in the middle and set it to reach this intersection it's the intersection that we created with that circle a few steps back and I'll do the same thing again to create a vesica piscis around this circle and that's it it looks like a tangled mess right now but I'll add the outline so you can see it clearer and it'll all make sense If you want to know more about how I deconstruct symbols like this, head over to my Patreon page, I explain it all over there, and you can support the channel at the same time, and if you found this useful, give me a like and a subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, ta -ra.